Today, MTD CNC have traveled to White House Machine Tools. And I'm with Jason Short from Grip Tech. Um, great to be with you today, Jason. Yeah, thanks for having us here today, Gio. Nice to see you. Um, it's an interesting project that you've been working on with White House Machine Tools. Um, and you've got an application on this Speedio F600X1, which is a very high torque machine tool, very rigid, capable of cutting any materials. But we, we, before we start looking at this machine tool and the application, can you firstly give our viewers a little bit of an overview about GripTech and Fifaxis? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, GripTech are the sole distributors in the UK for uh, Fifaxis work holding products. Um, and Fifth Axes are based in San Diego, California. And you've been in the market for quite some time. I'm quite familiar with your product range and it is very extensive and we'll be touching upon that during this short interview. But let's focus now our attention onto this solution that you've provided um, for the Brother machine. Um, we've mentioned it's a high torque machine, very rigid, very fast. Um, yeah. Obviously the speed of this machine is, is pretty much second to none. Can you tell us the solution that you're, you're presenting here to the spindle? Yes, Gio. So today we've, um, we've come with a solution which is our brand new V510X, which is a, a self-centering vise and a zero-point work holding system which is mounted directly to the bed. Um, and we're utilising a, a, I know we'll move on to it, but a dovetail um, where, the, where the jaws are, um, dovetail joint which holds onto it very, very, uh, which holds onto the component very, very securely. Now it looks great. Now let's start from the base. Now you mentioned um, zero point. Now this is a zero point base. How does this work? Okay, so um, whether it be on a, a, a three axis machine, um, like the Speedio we have here, F600X1, or whether it be on a fourth axis rotary or a five axis machining center. Uh, the zero point system mounts directly to the bed of the machine and it's your foundation and your uh, datum point. So effectively, it's obviously giving you repeatability if you were to change from, work hold, what, from one work holding solution to another, but it also gives you options to mount different work holding solutions? Yes, it does, Gio. Um, it will give you the option to either whether you want to put a double station vise on there from fifth axis, um, whether it's a self-centering single vise, whether it's a three jaw chuck, whether it's uh, your own fixture, a dedicated fixture, a collet chuck. There are many, many options once you have the zero point plates. And once you've got this zero point plate, I assume it just saves setup time ultimately, Chase. Yes, yeah, so setup times are obviously always a, a bit of a problem in the machine shop. Um, obviously costs money, time and money. So a zero point system on here, you can take on and off your products within, and it'll repeat within eight microns every time. And when looking at free axis machine tool work, setup time reduction is absolute paramount. You need to keep that spindle turning, especially when you've got a brother. Um, yeah. Now, looking at the, the vice, the centric gripper, talk us through this, this, this vice and, and why you've chosen this vice for this particular application. Okay, so because the machine is very, very quick, very rigid, very robust, um, we've had to go for a system which we felt was the best um, option here, which is a, a heavy duty vice, which is our largest of our vice range, V510X. It has a larger opening, but also um, it's the most powerful in our range. So plenty of clamping force. Plenty of clamping force, yes. Now, I can see the dovetail cutter on the table. Um, that you use to pre-op the part. Um, is it necessary to pre-op uh, mild steels or can you clamp them directly without dovetailing the, the, the part? How does this work? Okay, so the options are that you can either tighten one of our vices, any of our vices in our range, up to 35 Rockwell in hardness. Um, so any softer materials you can clamp directly with the serrated teeth that you've got on the vise. Um, any harder materials uh, we would recommend that you use a dovetail cutter which is um, what we have and what we're showing here Geo. So 
This technology will be for your harder materials, your ink nails, titaniums, anything harder like that. Um, there will be a pre-op required, um, but at a fraction of the cost of um, different types of products out there, we can, um, we can help a customer clamp any material. For anything below 35 Rockwell, don't worry about it. The, the, the vice will clamp with sufficient clamping force that would be required. Now that's, that, yes. that's a, a really big point really. It, 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 you know, clamping to, with the required clamping force obviously has many qualities and one of them being vibration, dampening qualities. How does this perform in, in that kind of arena? Okay, so um, very, very important point actually. If I just... The dovetail will clamp and give you additional clamping force but without deforming the part. So there are a lot of systems out there which will slightly deform the parts. This will take that out of there, takes the pressure out of the vise and takes the pressure off of the lead screw as well, so not being stretched. Um, so it's probably one of the most um, solid joints, the dovetail joint, which is a very, very old fashioned technology, but it's something that's been incorporated in our fifth axis vices for, for many years now. Now, if I was to looking, oh, if I was looking to hold up to and spin that part around, do you have soft jaw options? Yes, we do indeed. Um, we have soft jaws in aluminium and steel that are readily available off the shelf. Um, or, alternatively, we'll even help a customer make their own jaws if they want to. Our jaws are that simple to manufacture. Customers can do it themselves. But effectively, you can present as many components to the spindle as the table uh, size will allow. Yes, that's correct. You can put many of these zero point systems as you can fit on the machine and within the sort of the travels. And obviously you've got your less tool changes, uh, very, very busy spindle on many more components on the table, yes. Jason, thank you very much for your time. So there you have it. Thank you. A solution Jim. from Fifth Axis from GripTech in the UK. And to find out more, visit the Fifth Axis website and check out their machine tool configurator.